Okay guys, part three, Flutter Vehicle. Thank you for joining me on this channel and uh, thank you for subscribing, sharing, and liking my videos. So this is a Flutter Vehicle. Remember, we checked the compression, we talked about it. Uh, good news and bad news. Good news, I went and got me a starter fluid. And I tried that with one of my buddies. Take a look. All right, now what we're gonna do is, we're gonna spray this starter fluid. We know we got pulse in the injector. Oh, I'm sorry, injectors are working, but the fuel pump is not running. Even injectors sometimes cut off, but we do have spark all times. Okay, my friend, he's gonna help me. We're gonna start spray this starter fluid, and we're gonna start up this engine. Go ahead. There you go. Long as I keep spraying this, it will keep running. So at least we know, press the gas pedal all the way. Rip it, there you go. Beautiful, it's gonna cut off. It's gonna cut off. Any moment now. There you go, it's done. All right, at least we found that out. Now you saw that, the engine runs beautiful. Okay, what, what could be wrong here? I discovered a few things. So what I did was I checked spark, since the engine started up, we got spark. Our spark plugs are good, ignition coils are good, all four are running fine since it runs with this fluid. So what it came down to was uh, injectors. Injectors, when we previously checked this, I did do a lot of diagnostics before this, same thing that I'm about to show you right now. So these are called the diodes, okay? This is just a little bulbs that you could connect to uh, to your injectors here so what I did pretty much was I disconnected one of the injectors down here and I connected this just like an injector would uh, so you should see that little bulb that I'm gonna zoom into okay this little diode that I just connected you know what let me zoom in and then I can just talk about it okay you see that little guy this is the little guy I connected to I connected this to this little guy. It gave me a pulse once, but I'm gonna see if it gives me a pulse right now. Uh, I'm not gonna be able to see, so the camera can see, but I can't see. And uh, there you go. We got no pulse. We got no pulse. I'm gonna go get a test light. I'm gonna go get a test light and we're gonna see with the key on, I know one of the wires has a, uh, we're gonna go, I'm gonna go check on the computer first, but I know one of the wires is hot all time. I don't know if that's positive or negative, and the other one is controlled by the computer. I'm gonna go check that on the computer. Okay guys, uh, so I went on my computer. Uh, I don't know why I have a net vision on in here, but anyways, it looks pretty good. <laughs> anyways. Uh, these injectors are ground control, so all of them should have positive. There's a black and red cable on the, this, so you see my test light, my test light is going to light up. You see that? The test light lights up. I'm going to pull another injector, because it could be just one, black and red. I think my, uh, my ground got disconnected here. Okay, so black and red. There you go, we got positive. Let's check on this one. We got positive, not even gonna go on the fourth one. So pretty much I think our computer is shot. Let's go check on the diagram because there's a lot of things that computer controls and let's go talk about this stuff on the diagram on the computer. Oh, if you go on the computer, um, remember injector number one, two, three, four, uh, red and black, black and red cable. It comes straight from the key ignition. Um, fuse, fuse, this fuse got to be good if it's there. The power, they all got power. So ground, okay. These cable, B O B Y, all these cables, these four cables, one for each one is a pulse control from the computer. So let's go to the next diagram. Okay, we're gonna have to go back, and uh, we're gonna open up the second diagram. Come on. So there you go. See the cables. B O B Y B W. These are all going to injector one, two, three, four. 
So yeah, straight from the ECM engine control module. Not only that, the engine control module also controls your fuel pump. It controls everything, okay? The fuel pump, uh, let's go back. You see this? Uh, what is this here? Um, this is not a fuel pump here. So pretty much, um, let's go to another diagram. Coils, coils are controlled by it, but the coils are working due to we know the engine starts up when we give it, when we fire it up. But uh, let me just find the diagram for the fuel pump. I don't know how I missed it, but there's our fuel pump right here, fuel pump. Fuel pump has a ground, and then it this relay is what controls it. But we know the relay is not bad because the, none of the water got onto the relays. Our EFI relay right here. And uh, there's a fuse here, so this relay, this relay gotta activate, okay? This relay gotta activate. Only the way this activated, the computer activates it, and uh, so the fuel's not gonna work. I remember, I had a pulse at one time. We had a pulse in the injectors at one time, but the engine did not start up uh, because I believe the fuel pumps is fuel pump is down. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching my video. I am gonna order an ECM, and then we are gonna make a judgment. We're gonna crank that baby up. And uh, make sure you clean out all the connectors with the spray. They do have a harness uh, connector spray. You spray that under the connectors, and that's about it. I do got a Ford view. I do show how to do that on a Ford. Anyways, thank you for watching my video.